So like the title saying, we're talking about 2023 New Year's revolu revolutions. It's New Year's Eve, so what's up guys? My name's Nicole Mercedes, and if you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back, babes. So, <laughs> the year's done. It is crazy that like 2022 went by <sighs> super fast. Don't know what happened. I feel like this is probably one of the quickest years like of my life. Honestly, I feel like 2022 feels like 2020 in a sense of how fast fast it went like I don't know where the time took us but we're here so like the title saying we're talking about 2023 new year's revolu revolutions 2023 new year's resolutions so I know what you're saying most of us do resolutions every year and probably by February or like well, I'm gonna call it quits but I think a lot of us need to work on, which is probably one of our goals for the year, is to stick with the resolutions that you make. So I have notes here. So one of the major things I wanna do this year is try something new. I did that last year, uh, and I think each year I wanna add on to the list of like, always just trying anything new. Cause if you don't try anything new, then how are you gonna grow? My top goal next year is to learn more about my PCOS and learn how to control it. I've been already doing research, reading on all the different symptoms and things that they're saying that could help. There's a lot of different diets and like different types of workouts that um, potentially could work. So I think it's gonna be a lot of trial and error and I'm going to um, throw myself in to it a little more and really like hone in on something, try it and if it doesn't work, like go to the next thing. But, um, I just want to feel better, like physically feel better. And after physically feeling better, um, and that's clearly going to tie in with like getting back to working out and being back maybe on a stricter um, diet or I won't say diet. It's going to be, it's a diet, but more of a lifestyle change, which I've done throughout the years. Like there's time I was vegan for almost a year and the beginning was a little hard, but honestly, like I felt great when I was strictly vegan. I know I love eggs too much so i'm never going to be strict vegan again but i try to do a lot of plant-based diets plant-based diet i tried to eat a couple of plant-based meals throughout the week so i'm going to get back to uh probably meal prepping and trying to find different treats and different um like snacks that aren't heavy sugar based so not trying to go back also to like chips getting rid of cookies anything etc like that like i'm not trying to buy it not trying to bring it in the house and of course anytime like the first two weeks are gonna suck let's be realistic once you start working out again and trying to eat healthy or if you've never done it before the first month is gonna suck i know for me I just have to get back into working out the first two weeks not gonna be fun but once I get over the two week hump then I become obsessed with it and then I'm fine also I'm gonna cut out more dairy so I don't drink milk but ugh, it's gross I, I don't drink regular milk uh, we switched over well at least me and my mom switched over to almond milk years ago so that's not a thing the issue is going to be cutting back on the cheese mmm I love cheese. I love it. I love cheese. It is so good. And there's stuff you already know, like you could have it fried. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, it's going to be difficult. <laughs> That's <laughs> that legit is probably going to be the hardest thing is not having as much cheese as I do. Cause I love it. Give me a block, cut it, <laughs> chop it up, cube it either by itself or with some crackers. I just love it. But honestly, it's clearly, we all know it is super addictive because I think it's the casein that's inside of it. What is, is it? I gotta remember the word. Let me see. Yeah, casein. I was right. C-A-S-E-I-N. It is, that is why, if you don't know, that's why cheese is so addictive. Ooh, it is so good. I love it. Shredded, you, the pulled mozzarella, the... Mwah, mwah, mwah. amazing however i eat cheese 
too much. I clearly have it like every day. So I think uh, that's the only main like dairy item I have. And like I said, I'm not, I eat eggs all the time. I'm not cutting out eggs. I'm going to cut back on the actual snacking the, the cheese that I have. I think I'm going to cut that out. Um, because also I think that's pretty sure it's also high in cholesterol. So that's a thing we need to worry about now that we're getting older. Okay. The next thing that I have is a new year's resolution. I want to visit a new state. I've literally only gone mainly, I've lived in the Northeast like my whole life. So I've been up and down the East coast, rarely go to the West coast. Um, as far I've been to Nevada cause I've been to Vegas and that's pretty much it. So I'm hoping this year at some point that I can get to one new state that I haven't been to before. And I can see how that is and expand my horizons. And tying into that is gonna be traveling more. So I definitely wanna also go to another country that I haven't been to before. And I wanna travel to another country that is on my bucket list. I have a bucket list. I think there's at least 10 or so countries that are on it that were like dream places to go to. Last year we did a check off of one of them, which was Costa Rica. So, I want to be able to at least get another one knocked off the list this year. Another resolution that I'm going to be doing this year is to get a little bit more into investing. I have a small little itty bitty portfolio. It's a baby, but you know what? It's really good. I'm trying to um, read and just understand the market more. So that's the next thing I want to do this year uh, is to understand it pick out a couple of more companies that I want to invest in. I already have um, some money set aside strictly for that. And two, if you guys aren't in investing, you really should, you really should get into it. Even if it's not, you don't have to have a lot of money to start. Uh, do your research. Research is crucial and figure out what companies that you'd want to invest in and to see. And yes, yeah, some of these stocks are expensive, but right now, Mark, Now's the time. If you have a little extra cash, even if you have a hundred dollars, if you have a hundred dollars that you can spare, look into it because some of these companies, a lot of these things tanked and some of these stock prices are hella low and they may never go back down this low again. If you can spare the cash. I mean, outside of like pay your bills, you got something to pay for, you know, then ignore me. But if you have a little bit of extra cash, and especially now it's winter time, most of us ain't going out nowhere. Instead of the money you're gonna send to go out to the bar, just go invest it. And one of the other major things I wanna learn how to do is learning how to manifest. I've seen people talking about this, clearly on YouTube, online, etc. And I wanna learn more about it. It's a little intriguing to me. So I wanna see like, what everyone's talking about. And I know a lot of people say like, it works for them. So I want a little, maybe I'll buy a book or something, do a little research, learn about it. I know people do that usually like meditation. I've only really tried meditation once. So I might give it another shot cause I don't know if it was really for me or not, but I'll give it a go and see. I know everyone who Everyone I know who does meditate, they love it. And they feel it's very calming and it also might be helpful. The reason I want to try it too, because a lot of times like I have so much going on up here that my mind would just be doo -doo 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 -doo, firing on all cylinders all day long. And even when I'm trying to go to bed, I'm like, I'd be tired, but my brain just be moving and thinking and going. So I need to learn how to like, to center myself so i think this would be a good skill set for me to learn for 2023 and i think lastly i'm just going to continue to say yes to myself i'm learning in the past year actually not in the past year the past like two years i've been really working on trying to be calmer and trying to continue to work on myself grow a little bit tweak here or there and realizing like protecting my peace and i think protecting my peace is so important i'm not trying to be out here no more arguing half the time i really don't be caring and that might just be with age and you're getting older do i want to argue with you is this is this room my day do i even know you does it even matter no so i'm trying just more of like you know what 
choose my piece. This is dumb. I'm not getting into arguing about something super trivial anymore. Um, it's quite frankly boring. And especially if I know I'm right, like, okay, I'm gonna let you sit in your stupidity. If you wanna be ignorant and stay in your ignorance, meh, that's your personal prerogative. I think I'm gonna keep learning how to choose myself, learning how to pick and choose my battles and do I actually care enough to correct some of these things. And lately, luckily for me, for my inner peace, it's been, no. I believe 2023 is gonna be a great year. I can feel it in my bones. Like it's new beginnings. We're coming into a brand new year. Brand new year is turning, you're closing this book. It's not even a new chapter. We're literally closing the book on this year. Journey first, you start a whole whole new a whole new book and January is the first chapter you can do whatever you want to do you can become whatever version of yourself you want to become and it doesn't matter like and for the times like yeah money clearly like money matters that's right so but anything that you can do if we don't have the money to do certain things right as of now just still look at ways that you can ink pick goals and pick small goals and take small steps and increments into the next thing that you want to do. So if I don't have the money to do certain things now, cool. What's the next step? Like what's the step that's going to get you to that goal? <sighs> but overall 2022 good, bad, or indifferent is closing. She's getting kicked out of here and we are getting into a new, like newborn baby year. So Happy New Year to every single one of you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, like, comment, and subscribe. This will help out the channel and to grow. There's only a couple of us here, but we here. Peace and blessings and just like abundance. Like we are all gonna have abundance this year and you just have to believe in it, trust yourself, and also take the steps necessary to try to get you get try to get yourself to this place you want to go and even if you don't end up with your end goal this year coming set smaller goals that are sustainable and then you're just taking one day at a time you just got to take it one step at a time and i guarantee you from this year by the end of next year december 2023 you should be in a different place than you are right now whether it's physically mentally emotionally financially i'm wishing nothing but the best for all of you guys so happy new year's and i'm gonna see you guys next year bye